Hi there, my name is Brian Rocks, and I'd like to go over a, um, a tip that was shared on the uh, Blender Nation uh, website on the uh, trim brush uh, setting that was shared by MIFTH uh, user, uh, M-I-F-T-H. Um, it's an excellent um, way to get flat edge sculpting uh, on your object here. <clears throat> and it's um gives really good results. I'd like to go over that uh as it was presented um by Mift and then do a uh second object which will show you a way to do the same thing but uh end up with a reduced uh poly count. So let's go ahead and get started here. Go ahead and start out exactly how uh, he had it. So let's add a subdivision modifier and <coughs> go up to 5 on that and go ahead and apply it and then add a multi-res and do that up to 3. And then just enter sculpt mode and choose a scrape peak brush here. And now the curve you want to go ahead and set to this um, the curve setting here. And you also want to go ahead and whoops, up, up strength up to 100 and you want to lock this area plane. And that gives you good uh, flat edge results. Um, okay, then we'll go ahead and start sculpting here. I actually want to go and add a matte cap to the object just so we can see the sculpt a little better. Um, I'll use this purple one here. Crank the radius up a little bit and then go ahead and sculpt it and you can see it gives a really good uh, flat edge results. Nice crease here. I'm going to actually go ahead and smooth that out. And you can see that it um, gives really great edges on here. And you can also uh, increase this plane offset to go deeper. So you want like really deep, uh, deep cuts in here. You just crank that up. And you also mess with the size too as well. Oops, just going to crash, <laughs> crash my computer here. Um, and you can see how that works there and now this um, creates a really dense mesh it's like a 786,000 um, and I was messing with this and found a way to <coughs> um, reduce that a little bit so I'm going to go ahead and just go into a different layer here now instead of starting with the uh, subdivision modifier all I did was um, uh, add a uh, multi-res and I instead of going to 3 went up to 7 and you can see that ends up at 196,000 and let's go into sculpt mode and we'll compare these here so my sculpt settings still the same so I'm going to go ahead and actually I'm going to smooth that one out too as well whoops where we are there we are and you can see we get very very similar results and you end up with um, reduced poly count by about almost two-thirds um, still it was an excellent tip submitted by uh, by him um, I was trying to figure this out for the longest time and for some reason couldn't do it and along with this curb setting you can also use this uh, flat setting too as well it, it works just the same pretty much um, I like the curve one better for some reason it seems it'll give a little bit better uh, results and that's um, about the the gist of it and I'm gonna go ahead and bring back this first layer here 
back in object mode and I'm gonna move one of these out of the way if I can without crashing the oops there we go so you can see you, with the uh, original version um, it does give a lot sharper edges it's not I mean there's if you have to zoom in really close here you can see the difference it's sharper on on the original um, setup with the subdivision modifier applied at uh, five uh, level five and then um, adding the multi-res at level three um, or this object where I just I did the multi-res at level seven and you can see the sharper edges here um, but overall I mean if you need to uh, reduce poly count this uh, level seven multi-res works really well I still like the original setup better but I was starting to end up uh, uh, lagging the system out but that's um, about all there is to it and um, you know thanks again for Myth for uh, sharing that tip very excellent and it's going to come in very handy uh, thank you for watching